What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're heading out to Parque Fernando to do a little tango with the water buffalo. We're hunting them with the 454 Rhino. We're gonna head up the coast. Let's head right into it. So as much fun as I have been having in New Zealand, I thought it was time to come back and maybe hunt a different reserve. And I missed my rhino, so I thought I would grab it and head to the coast, see if we can't find a nice big water buffalo. I have been looking forward to taking the rhino out and hunting all the different kinds of buffalo. I will be heading to Savannah to hunt for capes as well. But this gun is a lot of fun and boy is it ever powerful. Now you definitely want to be having your health packs close by when you're hunting for these guys. And down he goes. That guy's an orange. And let's see, we got a level three here, 92.6. We managed a right long shot from 12 meters and change. So for this hunt, I am packing with me the Rhino, the Crossbow, and the 300. I am just focusing on the Water Buffalo, mainly using the Rhino. And the most important thing to carry is your weapon and your health when you're hunting these Buffalo. And you just gotta be ready to dodge and weave basically when they come to get you and you will get attacked as quiet as you are on the coast you are likely to get attacked by buffalo when you're hunting so it is good to practice when you're trying to shoot buffalo as they're attacking you try to lead your shot don't aim exactly where you'd like to hit them so for example when you want to hit a lung and they're running around try and aim right at the front of the body and then hopefully as they run that bullet will hopefully penetrate a lung always lead the shot. So that guy is a silver. We did manage a right long liver stomach shot on the second shot. First one was no good. So the Rhino is a class four to nine handgun. It zeroes in at 25, 50, and 75 meters, but we're gonna take a hundred meter shot here. Looks like we got him. I'm just curious how much the shot will drop and how far we can shoot animals with the Rhino. So let's see how far this guy was. This guy was a 98.6 meter shot. The bullet dropped a little bit, but not too much. So we were good with that distance. And that guy is just a silver, 108.2. And like I mentioned before, if you are looking for water buffalo, head to that right coast. Anywhere along that coast, the coast is littered with water buffalo zones. We're gonna take this one. Get them all riled up <laughs> before i do take a shot i do spot every single one of them i don't always include that in the video because i don't want it to be too long and boring for you guys but yeah i always make sure there isn't a trophy in the bunch before i take a shot very important if you are looking for diamonds and rares to spot every single one every single time and this guy is a brown this is actually a girl 81.3 and that was a 103 meter shot all right, we need to take an even further shot. Let's find a buffalo that's even further away. This one will do. 169. So I'm aim a little higher. I aimed basically on the spine, maybe slightly below. And I'm curious where that bullet's gonna penetrate. He is going down, so we did, I think we got a vital. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't think so. It's still at 50. Now he's down to 25. All right. We're definitely going to have to pick that buffalo up. But since this one's passing by, we gave him a welcome gift. And I think we grabbed a lung there on that guy. And we have more in the background. So yeah, we did manage to get a vital on that fleeing buffalo. So when you're trying to catch a vital, you want to slide that shot right up the side of it and hopefully catch a lung. Not always easy to do, but that is a good shot to practice so that you can hopefully, you know, get a vital on fleeing animals. And we have a feeding level two female here. She's about 130 out. So we are going to try the rhino from this distance. I'm going to aim on the spine. Looks like we got her. 
Let's see if, yeah, her health is going down. So I think we got a vital there. That's awesome. And we can see how far, this just tells me where I need to aim when I'm taking further shots with the Rhino because I do love hunting buffalo with this gun. It is a lot of fun. You do have to get closer, but not within 75 meters. We can definitely take further shots with it. And I guess the key is to practice. This one isn't too far away. And that was good. So I jumped on a random multiplayer here. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the sun shining on the water. So pretty. I like to try and take a moment and appreciate the scenery in the game because it is such a beautiful game. Every single reserve has its own attributes for sure. And this is one of the prettiest places to hunt in Parquet is along the coast. And I think it's around 7, 7.30 a.m. I'm hunting them in their feed zone right now. And that was good. So that was, let's see, double lung. Double lung from 52.67 meters. So that was definitely right on for aiming. So within 75 meters, if you are zeroed properly, you're gonna get your shot right where you aim. It's when you go, you know, about 100 meters or beyond, you start to need to aim higher because you're gonna have to account for that drop. Another aggressive buffalo coming to get me. And always remember, only two shots. Once you put that third shot in, you are gonna be dropped down a metal rating, and so you only wanna try to use two shots to kill your buffalo, so you wanna make them count. One of them needs to be vital, just one. So that first shot was, didn't look like a left lung shot, but okay, it was a left lung shot. Both of those were vital shots, cool, 73.8. And that was only from 18.31 meters. So you don't need a second shot, but sometimes it is very hard to tell whether you got a vital on that first shot, especially on multiplayer, because I do have no blood and no tracks. I am on Xbox. We did not get the update yet. I believe it will be coming with the new reserve in the new year. So no blood, no tracks for me right now. The Sky Girl is a 74.8, and that was a double lung shot from 144. So now we need to find a buffalo that's even further because I would like to try a shot closer to 200 meters with the rhino. So let's see if we can't find another buffalo and take a further shot. Okay, so this guy's about 185 out. And off he goes and his health is not dropping. Don't think that second shot did much, but I think I probably needed to aim higher, like over top of the buffalo, I'm thinking. Let's see, he did die, so let's have a look here. Yeah, okay, so I definitely have some serious drop. I needed to aim just slightly over the body and I would have popped along for sure. So that was 163 meters, 162.98. So now I know where to aim with the rhino as we get closer to 200 meter shots. I'm getting more confident that I can take longer shots with this gun. And hunting for water buffalo is also one of the really awesome ways to generate cash. Can't get this guy on the fly. Yeah, he is going down. I think we did get a vital there. But yeah, these buffalo are good for cash. You can usually take a few down at a time. That guy's a 151.3, and that paid us $1,346. Look at the size of that buffalo. It's a nine. Oh my goodness, and it's fleeing. All right, I'm gonna chase this guy. Maybe he, he hmm, maybe he'll go aggressive. Maybe I can run up on him, I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep running for now. Let's see what happens here. I do have his tracks. This is my map. I jump back on my map. Nine legendary and he's running around in circles. Says he's fleeing, he is not aggressive, so he could disappear at any moment. I only have two shots to make this happen. I really need to not mess this up. No pressure, none whatsoever. 
<laughs> okay, here we go. Easy boy, easy boy. I only have one more shot. I don't think that was good. Oh. Here we go. Yes, we have vital blood. Yes, he's going down. Nice. Whoo, that gets my heart going. That sure does. That was pretty awesome. Let's go see. I have been shooting nothing but trolls. I have now shot eight trolls off of the new New Zealand reserve. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Are you going to make it for me? How about you be nice to lady? Just this once. What do you say? All right. Yep. We have a troll. We have a gold. 166.4. 167.5 is diamond. So, he is short by 1.1. 1170.21 kilograms. That's disappointing. Our first shot was thoracic vertebrae, but our second shot was stomach, liver, and right lung. And all I can say is story of my life. <laughs> but I think that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please press that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more videos, that's easy. Just press that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next one. You take care.